Hello, this is John again with another Revit tips and tricks that I encountered. So one of my students was having trouble. Uh, they were trying to create elevations and the drawings weren't showing up accurately. They weren't seeing elevations. So for example, if I take a look at this drawing here, if I launch the north elevation, this looks like a legitimate elevation drawing. You see windows, you see walls and what have you, and everything's turning out fine. If I take a look here at the east elevation, this doesn't look quite right. Now let me go to VG and turn off my annotations and just look at the drawing itself. You can see here, and I've got my line weights turned on here, you can see here I am actually cutting through windows and, and roofs and I'm looking at the interior of the building. This is a cross section, this is not an elevation. So what could be happening here? If I return to the floor plan here, you'll notice here that the elevation tag is inside the building. Now, if I were to select it and drag it outside the building, then potentially it could be the correct elevation uh, that, that's being viewed. Now, this is just one area that could be problematic. The other area that could be problematic is the fact that when you click on the arrowhead here, an elevation is basically created when you're standing on this blue line here and you're looking in the direction of the arrowhead. And because this line here is inside the building, it's going to create a section. So again, if I double click on this elevation here, it's a cross section of the building. So it's easy to spot elevation tags inside a building because obviously that'll create an elevation uh, section. Maybe you don't know that, but I want to mention it here. Another issue might be the fact that this line's inside the building. So if I click on that arrowhead once, I can grab that blue line and move it outside the building. And then when I double click on the arrowhead now, you have a legitimate elevation. So those are the different techniques to resolve this problem when you've got sections appearing instead of elevations. I'll mention one other thing. If you click on the arrowhead here, again, you're standing on this blue line looking toward the building in the direction of the arrowhead. If I have that highlighted, I can go over here to properties. I can go to far clipping and choose no clip and I can choose clip with a line and hit okay. Now that does something completely different. What it says is that when you create an elevation, you're standing on this blue line as, as you normally do, but I can see as far as this dotted line. That's, that's my scope of view. That's how far in front of me I can see. So for example, this is maybe 10 feet. So I stand on this line looking 10 feet in front of me and, and the, the scene gets cropped off. So this will show nothing in elevation. If I were to double click here, there's nothing within 10 feet of that blue line where I'm standing. So what you can do is you can click on this arrowhead once, drag the blue line close to the building, that's one way of doing it, or just leave it where it is, and grab this little arrowhead here and pull it into the building. And now I can see from the blue line as far as this dotted line. <coughs> Notice within that range, I can see this front door here, but I cannot see this wall here because it's behind the dotted line. So this elevation won't be a full elevation, it'll be a partial because of this fact. If I double click now, I'm missing that interior wall there on the elevation because I cannot see that far. So if I return to the floor plan here, click here, I can drag this line down to include that wall. Or in fact, you can drag it through the entire building if you want to include the entire elevation. So everything within this, this scope here between that blue line and the dotted line is visible. So any elements on the roof, any additional windows, walls will appear now and you have ultimate control over what you can see by virtue of moving this line here back and forth. If I move it to the back of the building, obviously in this case, I can see the entire building front to back. And if I double click on that arrowhead or I simply uh, double click on the north elevation, it'll launch the correct view there. Okay, so that's just a quick tip on using the elevation tags and how you might resolve problems where elevations are appearing in sections. Okay. Uh, looking forward to answering more of your questions. See you next time.